Facebook, time to make lunch. So I thought I would show you how to kebab, different ways to do kebabs in our air fryer and show you our new product, which are our air fryer kebab sticks, whatever you want to call them. Okay. That's what they're called air fryer kebab sticks. So I'm going to make a quick lunch, but uh, you know, every now and then, typically on Monday, I try to eat better. So today's one of them days. So we're making chicken. Um, chicken, pepper, zucchini kebabs, and then since we want to kill two birds with one stone, we're also going to make hot dogs in this for my kids, all done in the air fryer. So this is a brand new product, will be available starting tomorrow. So let me know what you love to put on your kebabs, and I will assemble these and sh show you guys how it's done. So by the way, here's another like healthy eating tip. Um, a lot of times you know, a lot of people don't know how to substitute. So if you can just get anything and substitute with chicken or turkey instead of beef or steak or um, pork, right? That's a lot less, um, a lot less fat and leaner protein for you. So I just have some chicken sausage right here that I'm gonna make for myself um, to meal prep and eat in like takes like nothing. It takes like 12 minutes or so. Um, and then for my kids, I'm gonna make them some hot dogs as well. So these. This is what's gonna go in the air fryer. You click the rotisserie setting in there, which if you didn't know, you can make a whole chicken in there. It's the bomb and amazing. And then this just rotates with these little skewers. Just be careful, they are pretty sharp, so don't kill yourself, okay? So here we go. So I will just make um, two of maybe some sausage ones, and then I'll show you how I get my kids' ones on here as well. So we just got some peppers. Right, so what would you put on this? I had mushrooms the other day, uh, little baby potatoes. Oh, I have some of those, I should have taken those out. Oh well, whatever. Um, and then I also have some zucchini here, right? I know, who's got zucchinis in the garden? They're like everywhere, right? People are just literally almost gifting them to you for free because everybody has zucchinis. So here you go, pretty simple. Takes a little skewer. Now if you have something that's a little harder, um, like a potato be careful because it is sharp so you don't want to like you know kill yourself so there you go just poke it in make your little skewers this is great for a family dinner you can have all the little toppings laid out and your kids can make your own like we did that the other night with chicken and my kids literally had chicken and potatoes no vegetable <laughs> that was it they didn't want any of that so but it's a cute little activity you can do with your family so you just skewer, 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 chop, chop, here we go. Uh, whatever you want, oops, fell out, back in. And I actually um, try to stuff in as much as I can. So there you go. And then all you do is, if you see this little stand here, is you just clip it on. You, uh, which way are we going, this way? Nope, the other way. No, oh, it doesn't matter. All right, so you slide it on, and then you just clip, and you rotate. Oops, clip, rotate. There we go. And now it's in there. And of course it's gonna fall to the bottom. Now for my kids' hot dogs, right? You can just literally do the whole hot dog. It's kind of like, you know, those ball games and they have the hot dogs there rolling all day long. You could do the same thing for your kids or for yourself. <laughs> um, whoever loves hot dogs, right? So stuff the whole thing in here. So you could do the whole thing with a sausage too. Oops, Let's see if we can make it through the middle. Uh -huh. There we go, stuff that on here. And just something fun, right? So you could add some little potatoes if you wanted for your children. Oh, maybe it should be in the right place here. Oops. Clip it in. And there you go, you have your second one, right? So you just keep assembling, it's pretty simple. And then all you do is you just put it in your air fryer and this whole thing is gonna rotate for like Oops, this one came back out. Let me get it back in. Oh my gosh, Claudia. Maybe I need more coffee today. There you go. Rotate in your... I guess I gotta get it all in. Rotate in your air fryer for like 12 minutes because the sausages are pretty much pre-cooked, right? Your hot dog is pretty much pre-cooked and lunch or dinner is done. So let me know what you would come up and I'll show you the final results below. Ciao for now.